Yo, what's up? Bill here from Classic Rock and Metal Review, here to discuss, review the Don Felder solo concert. It's actually a week ago yesterday, a little slow getting to this one, guys, but we'll go down the whole set list, give you the highs and lows. Uh, but before we get started, if you can hit like, I'd appreciate it. Same with subscribe, that'd be awesome. Appreciate everyone who's already done so. All right, so Don Feldery joins the Eagles in 1974 while they're recording their third album, On the Border. Eagles are looking to get their sound a little more rock, a little less country. And Don can also play banjo, mandolin, obviously acoustic guitar, but mainly he brought in for electric guitar. So he totally fits the bill. So let's go down the set list. So he starts out with Already Gone from the On the Border album. Great opener, I think. Uh, sounded great, you know, nice crunchy guitar in there. Uh, solo sounded good. Oh, it's just, you know, one of the reasons you go see Don Felder is to hear those guitar solos that he uh, recorded, and there's one of them right off the bat. I wouldn't say the song went over amazing with the crowd, but I really enjoyed it. Probably the least popular of the first 10 greatest hits songs from that album. Uh, then he goes into one of these nights. This gets the crowd a little more into it. Another great solo. Another reason you go to see Don, this solo in here, you know. Just iconic, man. Sounded great. Um, then he goes uh, a little change of pace for, for Don. And I saw him once before, uh, about nine years ago. That was really good. Uh, he goes into Pride and Joy, Steve Ray Vaughan. Um, kind of cool hearing, you know, Don, who's a rock guitarist, playing blues. So that was kind of cool. I wouldn't say this version compared to Stevie's at all. Uh, but it was cool to see. Um, up on the side of the either side of the stage and this was at the Borgata Music Box which is a great venue little amphitheater style seating uh, I think it holds about 1200 when it's full this was not quite a sellout but almost uh, these screens on either side are just really really big and you know I have to say some of this imagery he had up there and especially in the first part of the show was super annoying uh, scenes that were like filmed you know like look like they were filmed last week just like random people driving convertibles you know mostly of course like 19 year olds and stuff uh walking in the city it was just sort of random and you know it just didn't mix with the music for me like the concert started out with some eagles pictures and such that was cool during pride and joy it was a whole stevie ray tribute up on those screens montages of pictures and video clips and uh and such that worked great um, but overall those screens were really annoying I actually had to sort of tell myself to stop looking over because uh, it was really distracting only because you were looking over at images that had nothing to do with the songs just my opinion just a heads up with that of course in a venue like this where the screens are huge and the venue is not that big to begin with probably more noticeable than a lot of other places uh, then on to uh, Victim of Love. Now we're getting into some of the meat and the potatoes of why we go see Don Felder live, you know. Great song from Hotel. Uh, Don talks about the how this was recorded live in the studio, the only time the Eagles ever did this, which is cool. I kind of remembered hearing that, or I think probably reading it in his book and had forgotten that, so that was cool to hear that song and the tale. Um, then he goes on to his first of only three solo songs. This one's called American Rock and Roll. Pretty good song, good upbeat rocker. Uh, in this case, the video montage was like a hundred different bands, you know, American bands. So it was really actually really cool because uh, the song was good. And images of, you know, everyone from like Allman Brothers with Dwayne, uh, Chicago, and everyone else on through to... Um, Green Day, Guns N' Roses, you know, Nirvana. So that was pretty awesome. I really liked that. Uh, then he goes on to a couple of more mellow Eagle songs. He does Peaceful, Easy Feeling and Tequila Sunrise. Um, so first of all, these songs were both recorded before Don was in the band. I'm not going to judge him on that. I don't care. Uh, he was an integral member of the Eagles for 30 years. I'll cut him some slack. Let him do whatever he wants, right? I mean, you know. Other songs he does in the set are also from those albums. Yeah, as long as they're done good, who cares? Um, you know, one of the low points about seeing Don is that his voice is his voice is okay. It's not a great voice to begin with. He's a technically really good singer. Uh, he just sort of stays right in that little niche of his, and there's not a little a whole, a whole lot of like 
twang. I was just kind of, Tequila Sunrise especially, just kept me wanting to hear a little bit of that, like throw a little nod to Glenn and do a little of that twang in there. Uh, not to be, Don sings songs how he sings them. I just thought they sounded fine. I just thought they could have sounded better with inject a little, you know, little heart and soul or something in there. And even if it is a little bit of, you know, trying to impersonate Glenn for a second here and there, you know, go for it. That's just how I felt. Felt like he was just holding back a little, but nevertheless, uh, things start to get better with the set list. Now we get Seven Bridges Road, which is such a great song. And, uh, you know, Don has this, you know, basically unknown to me anyway, background, back in band, who sound technically great. Um, I wouldn't know them if I walked past them on the street, but they sounded good. And Seven Bridges Road, the uh, harmony sounded awesome. It's a great song. And he goes into Those Shoes, another one of those like half dozen songs that get me to go to this show. Sounded awesome, does the talk box guitar. Now another new one, Rock You. So I like how we spaced out the uh, uh, solo songs. Now these are this is another one from his newer album, which I don't have. The only one I have of his was from, you know, about 10 years ago, when, right before I saw him. Uh, I think it was 2013. Um, that album's decent. It's got some good songs on it. It's got most of it's not that great, though, I have to admit. So I, I haven't picked up his newer one. And um, Rocky was also good. So he had American Rock and Roll, which was really good. This one's called Rock You. Another good one. Um, then we're pretty much done with the solo material, with the exception of his, basically you can call it the title song, from the soundtrack Heavy Metal. The song Heavy Metal, I think... Um, I think this is Don's best solo song he's ever done. Um, sounded awesome. Uh, when I saw him nine years ago, it sounded awesome. And it was basically the reason I was going back to see him again, or one of them, one of the key points. And it sounded great. And the video montage in this case was all clips from the heavy metal movie. Oh, it was really cool too. Don talked before he started the song, spoke about how he was shown like clips of the movie before the soundtrack was even done when they asked him to do the song and he said he just like had never seen anything like it like an adult animated movie so really cool that he um talked about that uh great performance on the witchy woman another great song another great solo uh the long run a little bit of something different i don't think he did that last time i saw him good song not great it was fine nothing special for me uh Heartache Tonight. Now at this point, that's not a song I really like too much either. It's just so simplistic. Uh, but in this case, you know, we're getting pretty deep into the show. Don asks people to get up. They finally get up. You know, for the most part, everyone's standing, singing. And I even got into it, even though I'm not that into a song, just because, uh, you know, we're a couple beers in now. And uh, good version of it. Sounded cool. Next up, Life in the Fast Lane good version at the end of it he's jamming on the guitar for a couple of minutes so that was cool i mean that's why i go to see don felder i want to hear that guitar i want to hear those six or seven songs i want to hear him play his guitar solos and no let down here uh next up he does take it easy i think that this one probably was a little bit of a buzzkill in a way after some rockers probably would have been better as like the opening song of the show and then maybe i have already gone that's the second song, and we just, instead of going from Life in the Fast Lane to Take It Easy, just go right from Life in the Fast Lane to what was after Take It Easy, which was Hotel, of course. Um, actually, it's funny, the first time I saw him, I saw him nine years ago, we opened with Hotel, and I thought that was kind of nuts, like opening with your best song, but I was wrong because it got the whole place into the show immediately. Uh, in this case, it's the final song. Sounds great. He does the guitar solo on you know at the end. It's just the highlight of the whole concert. So overall, I'd say a really good time. Uh, I'd probably give the overall show about an eight out of ten. Low points being those annoying video screens, uh, you know, which didn't seem to bother me as much at the end. I don't know if I was just training my eyes to ignore them or what, which worked great too during four or five of the songs. Just those other songs where they were in there, irrelevant video clips had to try to tell myself to not look um that was and then you know the other thing too is uh probably don's voice it's just not a strong voice he sings a very technical 
straight and narrow way. Um, I just feel like, you know, maybe he could just, you know, tweak it a little bit here and there and give us a little spice um, and it would be a little more interesting. Um, but overall, like I said, the guitar work was great. The set list was pretty solid, you know. Um, so there you go. I would say Dunfelder, you know, it's under 50 bucks. I think $48 for a ticket. You know, these guys are seven, in their 70s now, so um, catch them while you can. All right, guys, that'll do it for this time. If you can, I'd appreciate it if you can like and subscribe. Like I said, I appreciate everyone who's done so already. And we'll talk to you next time. All right. Later.